Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's Boardsy, and this is going to be just a lot of truth built up in one video. It's going to be talking about my keyboard experience for the past six-ish months since I stopped using my Wooting. I'm not going to lie, the recent Optimum Tech video um, was the reason I plugged my Wooting back in. I took it off my floor. I just realized you guys can't see um, the Wooting. But yeah, this is just, it clears all the other keyboards. I mean, don't, don't look at how nasty the keyboard looks. That was not intended to be seen but yeah i've tried the polar 65 and game gear kb65 he i put the bulk of my time on this huntsman v3 pro tkl and i can confidently say that after literally half a year of using these keyboards the moment i went back on the wooting i was like what have i done with my time there's just no reason it's really um pretty much the same as picking like a model o over the g pro wireless at the time like it, it doesn't make sense like you're just paying um pretty much the same money i mean yeah some of these products are more available but just for a worse inferior product like i will say the steel series apex pro mini like i can vouch that i mean i guess all of the apex pros like those are at least close to the same level and they're more available but like the razor huntsman v3 pro i put a lot of time on this it's not a bad keyboard I do hate these switches, like Razer just always tries to do their own thing with the switches, and they're just vastly inferior to like the Gateron, whatever the other companies are using. My Wooting does have a switch spring swap, so they're like 45 grams of actuation force as opposed to the stock ones. But yeah, really the Razer keyboard coming in at $200 for this TKL size, it's just not worth it. I mean, simple as, it sounds awful, and I'm not a sound snob like... If the keyboard performs good enough, I'm fine with it. I was the only person in the world uh, besides like every Fortnite player who was shilling the Apex Pro for years on end. Um, so I'm obviously fine with bad sound if you get good switches and performance, but just the feeling of these switches compared to like Lekkers, Omni Points, even whatever these keyboards are using, it's just worse. Um, so I don't think you're really, there's any way to justify the crazy premium unless if you just need the TKL size. I never really use the media controls too much. Um, so yeah, the Razer keyboard, it's good. The performance is good. The rapid trigger is decent. Um, but I would just, I, I wouldn't recommend it over the Wooting. The Endgame Gear KB65 HE, um, it's, once again, it's good. The switches feel good. It actually has a premium build quality. Um, but when I just head to head against the Wooting, it's a night and day difference, which you wouldn't expect um, because Endgame Gear, at least in the mouse space, has always been on like the bleeding edge of technology. Um, but I don't know. It's just like for the price this keyboard's at, some people are like fucking coming over the build quality and all of that. And yeah, the Polar 65, I have heard that this is on the same firmware as the high ground boards, which again, just don't really perform to the same level as the Wooting. When I'm using this, it just, when I'm using this and the Endgame Gear board, it feels like I'm just using something closer to red switches than something with Hall Effect switches. That sounds weird, like less optimized experience all around. There's no issues with the quality, just like the Model O, um, even though there were issues with the quality. It's like, yes, you are going to get a formidable product, but it's just not going to be as good as the Wooting. The Wooting, you guys just might not realize if you don't have it or if you've compromised for something less, it is like if the G Pro Super Light released in like 2015, it's just fucking miles ahead. And again, I'm not gonna show my board because of how nasty looking it is, but even with that being said, I'm still using it. So I'm gonna clean this keyboard. I'm gonna main it for the rest of my life. And that's really all that needs to be said. These past six months of my life, I mean, I hope you guys at least learn something from this video because I feel like I feel like I was just a fool. And I, hopefully I put gameplay over this section because it's just fucking constantly blurry. I hate my camera. And yeah, this is obviously a rant style video more than like actual reviews of the keyboards. And the real point is that it doesn't really make that much of a difference because I was able to use these for the past six months and just do fine. Like I never felt like my keyboard was limiting me, but then I go back to the wooting and it's like, I was just been, I've had chains on my neck the entire time. It just, it literally feels like I'm just playing on 20 less ping. I don't even know how to describe it. So yeah, you guys can settle for whatever keyboard you want. It's not like mice where people making a wrong decision actually bothers me or mouse pads as well. Whenever I see artisan slander, that actually like ruins my day. Um, but yeah, if you guys want to settle for these cheap keyboards, fine, but it's just, they aren't as good as wooting. I feel like I might as well just make a video saying that after truly giving these a lot of testing, I would say the Razer one I used for like 
four months and I'd even switch back to the Wooting. I'm like, yeah, this, this is fine. So also stop asking me to review other keyboards like Drunk Deer, Booger Keyboard. I don't know, like all these custom keyboard companies are hopping on the trend now and it just makes me sick. So I'm not gonna do it. I'm just gonna keep using my Wooting. Maybe I'll get their new keyboard. But yeah, I'm not putting any fucking objective testing either um, because I trust my own eyes. And that's really, I don't owe people anything. I owe myself and God the truth. Uh, but that's gonna be all. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Peace.